Good night, Rosalind. Namaste, namaste. Ashe, Ashe. How you doing? You know they try to take. You know they try to stop it. They try to stop it. Taking man long to get these cards going, right? You want to know about your love life, girl? Trust me, I know. I want to know about mine too. <laughs> All right, but this is your reading, and um, I'm sorry about your other reading. It's just my video. This computer is new, and I got to add some um, memory to it, but it was two parts and it had cut off, but the ending ended. Um, I wanted to tell you that I didn't want to make a third part, but the ending, basically that was just the ending. I just wanted to tell you it's probably just somebody like that you're working with. That is just like a fucking pain in the ass that you work with. That's, that's hating with, you know, at your job. That's what I wanted to say, you know, at the end of the second half of your reading. But other than that, that was the end. It was just that they was just describing like a person at, you know, at first I was like, nah, I'm not going to say it. But then I'm like, nah, because, you know, they, you know, they probably, you, you, it's about your finances. So if you work in with somebody, you understand, they probably, you know, trying to stop you also at your job, trying to stop you from moving up as a manager, supervisor. I'm just saying, if you, you know, if you currently work in somewhere, where, you know, it's always that one person that you work with that try to sabotage, sabotage, you know, or hate, whatever. But that was it at the end. That was a good reading. And hopefully this will be a good reading. These are some beautiful cards. These are the angel answers that we are working with tonight. Um, I'm going to get some Doreen Virtues um, Love Oracle. I thought <laughs> that these was it, but... um. They're not, but they are very good cards. I love them same way. They they cause they like give you an answer. And then we're gonna um I'm gonna give you my answer, the spirit gods answer, the ancestors, you know, from my higher self and from your higher self and your spirit gods. And then we're gonna go into the book and just clarify, all right, your um connection with this. All right, it probably is going on probably like a year, right? Almost a year like nine months right i've been talking so i would say probably a he's probably a comic because you you haven't doubts like you understand you're not really that into him because if you was you understand you wouldn't be like you know i, I want to you know you wouldn't want to know whether or not you should continue this relationship with him because if you you understand if you really felt like it was really a connection there you will know like okay i'm gonna work on it I mean, same way, if you still get this message, you're going to feel like that. But you know, you'll feel, you will, you wouldn't question it. You understand? You will know. So that's why I say it might be a karmic or a soulmate. Uh, it's not a twin flame. So you might, you understand? I don't know if you know about twin flames. I'm a twin flame. I'm a light worker. That's why um, I'm doing this type of work because I'm assisting our um, brothers and sisters, you know, and the rest of the light workers and the um, empaths, and, and, all right, I'm not going to go on and on, okay, and the star seeds, crystal child, whatever, so, um, you know, so basically, a soul, a twin flame, and a, a soulmate feels almost like a twin flame, but not quite, because a soulmate could be a friend, family member, or pet, all right, soulmate could be any one of those things, it could be a lover too, but a soulmate, you got you as different soulmates, all right? Because you have a soul group, so they they are in your soul group, okay? So that's why you connect with these people. But he might a karmic partner. Um, if you want to get more understanding, I have videos on that too. I'm gonna make a new one though. Um, a karmic partner is somebody that you didn't clear up the karmic your karmic debt in your past life. So that's why you came into this lifetime to clear up that karmic debt. So they are karmic partner because you just came to learn a lesson from them and move on. So you can meet your soulmate. And after your soulmate, you meet your twin flame. All right. So that's why you have endowed your intuition You because you want to know if this love is real. You want to know if you could keep, if you should keep going with him. You want to know answers, clarification, you know, your intuition is kicking in and you're listening to it. But you just, you just need some, you know, you just need some clarification, you just need some answers, some clarity about this connection that's that's going on okay but i'm not gonna say it's a twin flame because you say i just started talking it's not like you've been knew him and he came in and out or he an ex or you know so um my spirit gods my higher self my ancestors rosalind spirit gods higher self and ancestors please assist us tonight with this reading 
I burned some sage, some frankincense and myrrh. All right, over the reading, it's still burning. So basically, right now, your first question is, all right, you just want to know if there would be some more serious commitment from him. That's what you want to know. I'm asking Roslyn Angels, because we're dealing with the Angels Oracle, so we must, you know, connect with them and talk to them. Please assist us with this, with this connection and these important messages. My spirit gods, Roslyn spirit gods, the Angels, please, I'm asking the Arishas Angels, please assist us with these messages tonight for Roslyn. We would like to know for the first question that we have is, you know, will there be a more serious commitment from him? Will there be another serious commitment? I need to know his name. I don't even oh Kevin. I got it. Kevin. Will they will they be? I got it, Rosalind. My bad. I'm hitting you up. <laughs> okay. Will there be a serious more commitment from Kevin to Rosalind? Okay, and and um, he is a Scorpio, and you are a Vir and you are a Virgo, so that is like that's different. <laughs> it's different because Virgo is, you know, Beyonce is a freaking Virgo. She's like perfectionist. She's bossy, you know. She's she's about her paper her business. Um, and Scorpios are, you know, it's a water sign, and they are aggressive, sexual, um, they about their business too, they have attitudes, <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk more about that, um, yeah, um, I'm hooking you up, girl, because you didn't even say that, but I'm gonna do a compatibility reading for you, I'm gonna throw that in here just because, you know, it took, like, two days to get this reading done, I'm gonna do that for you, all right, so the first question we want to know for my spirit guides and angels, we want to know if Kevin, okay, will be given a more serious commitment. Will she, will Rosalind be getting a more serious commitment from Kevin? Okay, that's the first card that we have right there. Okay. The next question we have, if Roslyn and Kevin have some longevity, is, there going, is it going towards commitment? Because Roslyn don't want to waste any more time. She don't want to waste any more time because, listen, she got a twin flame out there. <laughs> All right, or soulmate. If he's not your soulmate, he might be a karmic. If you feel in this way, if you haven't kind of sort of doubts because you're asking questions, you're not sure. You know, you probably know deep down in your heart that is something else bigger and better out there. But you're gonna deal with this right now because each lesson, I mean, each you know, each yeah, each lesson we learn from, each lesson you know, each um, is either a lesson or blessing when you meet somebody. Okay. So either way, you're going to learn from it or you're going, you're going to grow from it, learn from it. You're not going to fail from it. You done know already, all right? Because you're getting answers right now, girl. Yas, queen. So we want to know for the second question, will Kevin, will Kevin and Rosalind, will they have a commitment? Will Kevin, you know, will be in her love life for longevity? Or is he just here for now? For a little while. All right. If they got some longevity going on, Rosalind and Kevin Angel, we want to know. Help us. Guide us. Please give us an answer. 
some longevity towards a commitment. What is it? Give us some answers. Do they have some longevity or commitment in the future? Future could be, you know, it doesn't have to be years from now. It could be months from now. The future is the future, okay? No cards don't seem to want to pull out, so I'm just going to pick one. All right? That's the second, for the second question. And the third question, you know, we just going to ask the angels and our angels and spirit gods and ancestors to just give us one last card, just for like a clarification card. Basically, like, you know, any clarification card to just clarify these two cards that we have. Because even though we might pick, you know, a message from these two cards, the last card might be something totally different. So just give us a one last confirmation card just to clarify these two cards that we already have. And if I need to pick an extra card from another deck, I will do that for you. But I think we're going to get the answers tonight. Okay, so the first card we have, oh my goodness, the first question that we ask, we ask, okay, will there be some, some more serious commitment from Kevin? And the first card we have, baby girl, is unlikely that doesn't mean yes and it doesn't mean no it's saying unlikely this can turn into a yes this can turn into a no right now is unlikely all right that's the first question that we ask the angels okay we ask them will you know will there be some more serious commitment from kevin and they said unlikely. So don't take this step the wrong way because that's unlikely. That's not saying a definite answer. And these cards get definite answer, okay? So let's go to the book. Okay. And just get some more clear clarity. Even though... Okay. Unlikely. The situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining, imagining it. Listen to that. As you are imagining it. So however you are picturing this relationship or connection in your head, they are saying... Un, is they they are saying it you're unlikely i mean it's unlikely to occur as you are imagining it the situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it so think about that how are you imagine this relationship how you imagine this connection because if you're thinking about it bad, that means it's unlikely it might be good. If you think about it good, it might be hmm, unsure. You need to work on it so it can get good. It's not that great. You're okay? Think about that. There may be a different version of events that will take place. Or it may be that what you asked about is simply not in your highest greatest good. I remember I said that before the reading. I said that you might, he might be a comic. Or he might be a soulmate because the, the soulmate in the comic is not meant to stay in your life. They only meant, you know, to teach you a lesson and then you from there you're supposed to grow, learn, heal, and, you know, and um, reach your highest ha highest level of ascension while you're here. So you can ascend, all right, to be a true authentic self. But I was saying that you have a, so, a, twin, a twin flame. Each, it's 144,000 of us. You might be a twin flame. I don't, you know, I don't really know you like that. And I don't, you know, but you might be. Only you will really know. But, you know, if you continue to get more readings, you know, I, I probably can find out. But right now, you know, you might be a twin flame. That's why you're asking questions about this connection, about this relationship. You're feeling like you shouldn't waste no more time. So obviously something deep down inside of you is like, yo, 
you 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 probably yearning for that you know that real deep connection that real deep love and you just like hmm something not right about this that's why you having questions your intuition is kicking in all right place your focus on an alternative possibility open your eyes to different opportunities be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself so whatever you you know had planned for whatever you had dreamed or hoped for probably with this connection it's probably you know it's probably like be with this person be a friend or whatever you know whatever if you if you don't feel you know nothing is there connection or vibe whatever you can probably talk to other people and still have him there or just basically see talk to him and see where his head is at and see how he feel because this might be unlikely that he really do cares for you he really do loves you he do he do want to have longevity and things like that but maybe you need to open up and express that to him or if you don't feel like oh i'm i'm, I'm wasting my time we really love him he don't really you know please me like that he don't really you know because a lot that happens with me a lot of you know i'm picky i'm looking at the time you know a lot of guys i can't talk to a lot of guys because after i met my twin flame he just satisfied me 1000 percent. a lot of guys can't do that okay so you need to know if this love is real if it's unconditional or if it's conditioned so think about that all right that was that was that was that was cool because it's not saying nothing bad it's just basically saying that you know place your focus on alternative possibility once your eyes you know I mean, open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had already planned. Okay? Because what you ask for, whatever, it might not be in your highest good. It might be a karmic. It might be a soulmate. You probably have a twin flame. Okay? The next card we have is wait, wait on it. Wait on it. You better wait on it. Rosalind, you better wait upon it. What it what it the second question that we ask the angels? You we wanted we ask the angels, could all right, because we wanted to know if Rosalind and Kevin have some longevity, if it's going to if it's going to go towards commitment. All right. Because you don't want to waste any more time. Because you want to know if you should work on this relationship. Or if you should just, you know, call it quits. Be friends. And just, you know, try to find your twin flame. Not find him, like, literally. But you know what I mean. Okay, get ready for him. Because he's probably, he's out there waiting. Alright, it's only 144000 So you might be lucky enough. Because you, you inquired about your love life to me. And I'm a twin flame. So... You know, every everything happens for a reason, like I said before. But this is basically telling you to wait. All right? You know, I give you my input first, and then we go to the book. All right? So basically, you know, basically you want to know if this connection is worth your time. If this connection is worth, you know, your, your efforts, you trying. You don't want to be like, you know, how you was in the past, probably trying to work it out with certain guys, and then and them just a waste mind. All right, them just a waste time. All right, you don't want to do that. You don't want to waste your love and your good, good. You don't want to do that because you could be keeping it tight for the next man. Nah, all right, but you could be, yes, holding it down for your twin flame. You don't want, you want to know what, what's going on. What well, I want, okay? Because it's basically telling you to wait though. Stop, don't rush, okay? Don't, um, <sighs> Don't have anxiety about this situation, okay? This connection, I mean. The situation in the connection, okay? Don't, like, it's, it's say, basically it's saying have patience. Wait. Because, you know, you want to know. Shit, it's been like nine months, ten months. You want to know what's going on. But I tell you, this is telling me in divine time. It just, I say give it to a year. Wait till the, wait, give it to a year. Don't even, you know what I'm saying? Wait it out. Or to the end of the summer. Because you know how they, them, them motherfuckers switch up in the summertime and then winter time come. Listen up. All right? Give it to, to after Labor Day or to the to the end of the... Or give it to a year. The end of the year. All right? But it's telling you to wait. Don't make a decision right now. 
All right. Even though you get answers and, you know, clarity and messages from this reading, you know, just think on it. Just wait, wait it out. Talk to your angels, talk to your guys. They will give you messages and signs and you will feel it too. You will feel a connection, the bond. Like, can, do you, you know, do you feel him when he's not around? Do you feel his energy? Can you connect? Do you have telepathy? Can y'all tell it? um have telepathic communication with one another because if not that's what you and your twin flame has because i have that with my twin flame i feel him he feels me and we not nowhere near each other i'm thinking of him text me he think i mean i text okay that's 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 that fucking butter love baby that's that real twin flame love all right so it's telling you to wait upon it wait upon it because we want to know about that longevity we want to know about this commitment all right, we want to know if we're gonna have some longevity. If it's going, if it's going towards commitment, you and Kevin, okay, Rosalind and Kevin, and it's telling you to wait, baby girl. It's telling you to wait, wait. All right, so your situation is going to require a little patience. Then I say that Rosalind, Queen, impress yo, your angels. Are not saying no. I said that before I read before we went to the book, Rosalind. Thank you. Thank you so much, my spirit guides and angels. Thank you, Rosalind, spirit guides and angels. Thank you, Rosalind, spirit guides and angels. Thank you, Mother no Mother Isis. Thank you. Because you have to say thank you when they give you these messages, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't take them for granted, okay? Your angels are not saying no because we asked if this is this is this relationship going towards longevity and commitment. It's telling you to wait. It's not saying no. I said that we we said that. All right, we spoke about that. But they are saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. Yes, thank you. Yes. So give it. That's why I said wait, pun it. Give it to the end of the summer or give it to that year. Give it to, I mean, give it to the end of the year. I, yo, I said that. You have to, okay? Because then you can make a decision. Don't make a decision right now, okay? Because then it's like, okay, you, you didn't, you know, because it's like you didn't put the hard work in. So you can't quit yet because you got to say, listen, I did all I can do. I, you understand? I put that work in and it's still, you understand? It didn't work out, so I'm out. Or it did work out, I'm happy because I put the work in. You know, or I put the work in and it didn't work out, I'm out of here because I'm, I'm not wasting no more time. But at least you know before you out, you put that work in. All right, mama? What you are asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occurs, it can take additional preparation to make sure that everyone needs are seen too. Be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience they meant to have. Okay, so... That's basically saying that, you know, y'all might just came together for, you know, just for a little while to learn something, to experience something together, and then y'all spread out, you know, and then you move on, you know, to your to your next soulmate or to a twin flame, okay? That's, that's what it's saying. So, you know, be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience, you know, you have an experience with him. That's meant to, you know, that you meant to have. You meant for a reason. You understand? So it's something there, okay, that you understand that you have to experience with him because in your past life, okay, y'all was together and you, and that's why y'all came back in this lifetime together because it's something that you, you understand, that you have to experience or you did experience that you need to clear up or that you didn't clear up and that's why you in this lifetime trying to do it, okay? So it's just basically saying, wait, have patience. It's not saying no. It's not saying yes. It's saying to wait on it and divine time and baby girl. And I already told you about the months and everything like that, all right? So the last question that we asked the angel, last but not least, my cat. Come on. Yeah. Here we are. I'm sorry. <coughs> last but not least, all right? Question that we asked the angels and the card that we have. 
we just ask for basically like a confirmation card for the unlikely and the weight. <clears throat> All right. We just ask for like any type, you know, any message that they want to give us to clarify these two cards right here about the commitment, longevity, and, you know, being in a serious, um, you know, relationship. So we know we're not wasting time. Okay. So the last card that we have that they have for us is, wow. It's saying no. It's saying no, baby girl. It's saying no, and I, I'm not really liking this. It's saying, it's saying, it's just saying no. I, we didn't ask no question. We just, okay, you know what? Let me take that back. It's saying no, because we have unlikely, okay? The first question that we had, and then we had about the longevity, and if it's going to be, all right, a commitment. But then, remember, I asked the last, I didn't really ask a question. We just said we need a last card to clarify the, these two. So basically what I'm feeling is that any negative thinking that, you know, we we might, we probably had or you have right now, you know, why you listen to this energy? Because it's all about energy. It's basically saying no. All right. And let me explain that. Basically, no is, you're, you're, we don't really need to rerun the book. We know what no means. But. I'm basically saying that we didn't ask a specific question. We just said we need a clarification card to clear these two cards up. Just one card to clarify these two. And it's saying no. So to me, it's saying that to, to stop thinking negative. Okay, like if we say, for instance, oh, he's never going to be with me. No, stop thinking like that. Oh, he's never going to commit to me. No, stop thinking like that. That's what you understand. That's what it's telling me. Whatever you think in negative saying, no, stop thinking like that. No, stop it. You understand? Put in the work first. Manifest it. And then you can you can definitely, you know, have reassurance within yourself saying, yo, I put in the work. I did all I could do. It's either going to grow or it's going to die. But it's saying basically to me about these two cards, unlikely and wait. All right, it's saying basically while you listen to this reading, you probably, you know, thinking, having negative thoughts or thinking bad or worrying. It's saying, no, stop it. Stop thinking like that. No, that's not. Nope, that's not the answer. Nope. You're not. No, because you got to wait and see. You got to wait in divine timing. All right, because you, 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 you is not giving you. Is not giving you. All right, definite answers. It's, this whole spread is basically telling me in divine timing. Unlikely. Wait. Unlikely and wait. Come on. Unlikely and wait. And I told you about this card. It's not yes or no. It's just unlikely. You understand? Maybe, maybe not. You just have to wait and figure it out and stop thinking bad. Stop thinking negative. Put in the work, do all that you can do, all right? And then you can basically make a decision from there. But no, stop thinking negative. No, stop having those thoughts, those doubts. No, don't do that. Manifest the good energy and good vibes. Because these, this is basically saying wait in divine time because it's not giving you the, the definite answers. But if you come back, all right, within time, Okay, you will have a definite answer, but right now it's too early. They say in because y'all only been together for nine months. It's too early for you to know a definite answer. And if you did, you will probably just, you know, leave and fuck up the relationship. So it's basically saying don't do that. Wait in divine time and have patience. Manifest good love, good energy. All right, communicate with him. See where his head is at, his mind is at. See if he really loves you unconditionally or with... um. You know, a condition that means loving somebody for what they have, for what they got, for what you do for him. All right. He shouldn't love you for that. He should love you for who you are, your true, authentic self. Okay. So wait, unlikely, and no. So I'm going to just, let me just get one clear, one, one more clarification card for this. We, all right. We're going to ask a question this time. We want to know is Kevin. serious about this relationship 
We talked about commitment. We talked about longevity. But we want to know if Kevin, how Kevin looks at this, how do, does Kevin look at this relationship as this, and this connection? What does Kevin see about this connection? Is Kevin, all right, is this, is he really like, you know, into this connection? Or is he just, because you know some boy, you got some fuck boys. Hopefully he's not a fuck boy. But is he, what is he feeling about this connection? Is he really like true to this connection? Just give us some insight, input. One last card for Roslyn for tonight, just to clarify this, because I don't want you to be, you know, left having thoughts and confused. One last card, my angels, Roslyn angel, my spirit guys. One last card. We want to know what Kevin is feeling. Does he take this relationship seriously? What does he feel? Wow. It's up to you. Stop. It's up to you, it's saying. And this is a beautiful car. You see the angel? We said, how does, you know, does Kevin feel like this relationship? You know, does he take this relationship seriously? How does he feel about this relationship, about this connection? You know, just one last car. We asked the angels and it said, it's up to you. And we, listen up. Listen up. It's up to you, baby girl. Like we said, it's, it's telling you to wait. It's saying unlikely. Wait. Unlikely. Telling you to stop. No. Stop having negative thoughts. Stop doubting it. Because guess what? It's, everything's going to happen in divine timing and God's time. Let go and let God. And wait for the time, man, because it's too early. I just been date, you know, a couple of months. It's too early to have a definite answer. Wait it out and then come back for answers. All right, baby girl, right, queen. But guess what? It's up to you. It's all about you. The you is your life. It's your love life. It's 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 your connection. Manifest that good love. Manifest that good energy. Put in the work. Do all that you can do. So you can step into your or true authentic self as a queen. As a um, divine feminine, all right, if you are a twin flame, because you might have a twin flame, like I said, I'm not sure. He might be a karmic. He might be um, a soulmate, all right, Kevin? He might be one of those. We are not too sure right now. It's too early to tell, but I'm just going to say wait. Wait it out. Wait it out. Give it to like a year. Talk to him. And once you talk to him and, and you know, see where his mind is at. I did that with my flame, okay? I open up, you know, talk to him. See, you know, see what he... See what is he feeling. See what is he thinking. Not just texting and talking on the phone. You know, be with him. Vibe with him. Feel what he... You understand? See if what this is. If this is a soulmate or twin flame. In divine timing. Wait it out. Don't make a decision right now. Don't give up. Keep it going. All right, baby girl. And then come back to me. And then we, we should have some better... um You know, a better reading. Because right now, y'all only been together for about 9, 10 months. It's too fresh. And they telling you to basically wait... All right. Unlikely, not yes or no. Stop thinking negative. No, don't think like that. No, you bet you better not do that. All right. Because it's all on you. It's all up to you. Now let's just clarify this card from the book and then all right, we're gonna done the reading because um this reading I, I it definitely resonated with me, even though it's your reading. <laughs> okay. I got to make sure my, you know, my computer rising. All right. So it's up to you. It's up to you, Roslyn. All right. So basically this card is saying the end result. Oh my goodness. The end result of the situation you asked about is entirely in your hands you can affect the outcome by taking a proactive approach to solving any challenges stand in your own power and have confidence that you have what it takes to bring about a happy ending it's all about you, Roslyn. What you do? If you put in that work, if you if you put it in that work, girl. Now nah, I'm just playing. It's not all about that. All right, you know what I mean. All right, spiritually, 
um, you know, lovingly, you know, if all about, it's all about that true authentic love, not that matrix fake ass love. All right. It's all about you. You have what it takes to bring about a happy ending. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. All right. Love yourself first and then, okay. And then you can love others. Okay. Um, you, you, we know you love yourself, but you know what I mean. Like you, you, we, we really have to, as women have to really love ourselves, like not needing a man to validate who we are, you know, just really loving ourselves, whether we have a man in our life or not, you know, that's what I mean about that. Okay. Don't wait for someone else to rush in and take charge. All right. In order to come to a successful conclusion, this situation requires your unique perspective and experience. This is why you have to wait it out. Unlikely. No, it's up to you. Yes, because this situation requires, requires your unique perspective and experience. You have to have this experience with him. You have to put in the work. It's on. It's fresh still. You have to put in the work and the time to see, okay, to get some more answers, get some, you know, more memories so you can, you know, have some more clarification and stuff like that. It's still fresh. It's still new. It's not like it been like a year or more yet. You understand? It's still like nine months. So basically they say, give it some more time. It's all up to you. What you want to do. This is your life, your connection, your life, your love life. If you feel like you should, all right? end it you're gonna do that but not just yet you're gonna wait it out and see how he truly feels about you so you know see if he really loves you for Rosalind, okay and not for um and not for condition stuff like what Rosalind got Rosalind got a car that's why i love her Rosalind take care of me Rosalind buys me stuff that's why i love her Rosalind takes me out no i love Rosalind because Rosalind is a very smart and intelligent woman and i just love her for the woman that she is i don't have a reason i just love her just because okay so find out that talk to him wait it out all right and divine timing open up like i said open up and just you know communicate with him communicate with him Oh, like on some like bobbing type shit, you know, like face to face chilling, like, you know, like not quiet, you know, y'all just yourself bobbing out, seeing how, all right, his body language, you know, how he acts, so, you know, whatever, just fill him out, vibe it out, but wait it out, they say have patience, don't rush shit, all right, Everything's going to happen in divine timing. If you you know you really like this guy and he really likes you, then y'all going to make it work. If not, then, you know, in the in divine timing, then, you know, y'all will separate or, you know, y'all will just part, depart from each other and then you will find your, all right, your soulmate or your twin flame. But we are not meant to stay with these people that come in our life unless they are a twin flame. Everybody else is just a lesson, somebody to learn from. So just have fun. Okay, learn from him. Try to see if he could cook <laughs> you can learn to cook from him you know learn how to love learn how to you know whatever it is baby girl if you have any questions or concerns or comments you know you can always hit me up i love you everything is going to work out i love this reading i hope it resonated with you basically this whole reading is just telling you know telling us it's just basically to have patience wait in divine time and don't make a definite answer right now you understand it's too fresh it's too new you want to know these answers right now about a commitment and longevity, but it's still, all right, it's too, it's too soon to know that. Basically, the angels want you to know. They want you to experience, have more of experience with this, um, with Kevin. They want you to, you know, okay, it's something, it's something in that relationship that you have to grow or learn from or experience before they could give you a definite answer. Because if you knew the definite answer right now, then it would just be like, you understand, you wouldn't probably put in the work or he probably wouldn't put in the work. All right. So, um, let me just give you a little snippet. I told you I was going to throw in for you about the compatibility thing, thing. All right.
Trust is a very challenging issue for both of these signs. And, the, and this is something they can finally talk about with each other. There is a strong understanding here for one of them. Fears, fears betrayal. See, because you got questions. You want to know if you understand because you don't, you know. You, you, you just, you know, there is a strong understanding, you know. But you also have fears, you know, of betrayal more than anything. While the, while the other hates it, it gets vindictive as soon as any sign of dishonesty is in sight. The best thing about their connection is and their ability to understand each other in silence. Not ever wanting to let each other down. So that's why I told y'all to spend time with, you know, I mean, you know, spend time with him quiet and quiet time, you know, alone, not don't talk to him in a, a noisy place, okay? The best thing about their connection is in their ability to understand each other in silence, all right? When y'all in a quiet place, and also just see if you can pick up on his energy when y'all, if you're around him and y'all talk when you not saying nothing. That's what happened with, with me and my twin flame. We Our body talks to each other when we not even, all right? When we not even talking our body talks our body language talks okay so that's why it's saying all right the best thing about their connection is their ability to understand each other in silence see if you could you know you can do that pick that up not ever wanting to let each other down that's in your, and you got a 90 percent on that with that all right with the trust all right and um basically yeah you have like a 99 percent um score with you and your partner you have a 99 percent score in virgo and scorpio communication and intellect you have a 99 percent all right and virgo and scorpio emotions you have a 75 percent open up more so it can be you know up there virgo and scorpio values you got a 70 percent in that Virgo and Scorpio shared activities, you got a 55% in that. So maybe you want to do more activities with him and things like that, all right, to get to know him and to see if he's this man that you, you know, you you love. I mean, I, I mean that you're looking for, your divine masculine, your king, okay? You have a 55% in that. So you know you have to work on that, all right? And all, and all together, the summary, you have a 76%. All together, I was saying you have a 99% in the communication and intellect. You have a 99% in that. And a 75% in the emotions. And a 90% within the trust. But basically, all together with the trust, the values, the activities, the summary of all of that, you have a 76%. So that's not bad. And I just say, you know, just put in, you know, continue to put in the work, baby girl. Talk to him. Open up. Wait in divine time and have patience. All right, and we're going to see what well, I want, baby girl, because I know you're going to come back. I love you. Peace, love, and unity. Namaste.